Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one then, we're gonna be looking at some existing Facebook ads and just breaking down the kind of things that go into um, essentially a successful Facebook ad. Now, before we jump into it though, I just wanna quickly mention, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation with me in this video. If you want to enter the draw, then all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video, then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And with that being said then, let's jump straight into it. So it's kind of what I want to do then, the whole idea of this video is to kind of change your way of thinking when it comes to designing and producing your Facebook ads because I think a lot of people approach it in the wrong direction and unless you get kind of like the fundamentals and your base correct, then you're setting yourself up to fail. When you build a house, the foundations have to be perfect, otherwise the fact the house is gonna fall over at some point. And I kind of wanna use that as a metaphor because it kind of applies to when it comes to Facebook ads. So we're gonna go right back to the beginning then, and we have to establish essentially what our goal is. So starting from the beginning then, our goal is obviously to make money um, with Facebook ads and the way we do that then is by people actually buying our product. So the question we have to ask ourselves then is how do we get people to buy a product? And the only way to do that then is to show our ad to people. So essentially our goal with our Facebook ad is to show our product to as many people as possible because if a huge amount of people see the product, as long as it's a quality audience as well, then of course people will always buy it. So when it comes to designing your ads, then you have to look at it in two ways. Number one, your ad has to create a want for your product so people do actually buy it. If there's no want for it, then obviously people aren't gonna buy it. It doesn't matter how many people show it for you, how many people you show it to, you still have to create that want or that need within your customer. And then the second thing, you have to make people want to share your products as well. As the costs of Facebook ads go up, then your CPMs are also going to go up, which means you're going to get less bang for your buck. Less people today are going to see your product than they will have a year ago. So what you have to do is you have to play on, you have to take advantage of social media and create an ad that people want to engage with and share because every time somebody engages and shares, um, it's going to look good to Facebook. Facebook are going to lower your CPMs because ultimately they want to create a good experience for their users and you're going to reach more people, which is also, which is the second then key ingredient to a successful ad because the more people you can reach and the more of a want and need you create within your audience, then it's just going to increase your chances. So to kind of break that down then, um, it says, as it says here, the message is not, this is my product. So when you create your ad, you're the message that you put across, you don't just wanna be saying, this is my product and talking about yourself. So this is my product, this is what it does. What you want to do is, you don't even necessarily have to tell people to buy it. You can just say, this is what it can do and actually demonstrate what it does to people because that is the number one thing then that's gonna resonate with your audience. So I've got some ads which we're gonna go through in a second, but if you can actually demonstrate the product and show them what it can do for them, um, as long as it's relevant to the audience as well, so you've got good targeting, then it's going to accomplish those two things. It's gonna make people want to buy it because it does something for them that's relevant for them, whether that's solve a problem, um, make them look fashionable, whatever it is. And that's actually the easiest thing to do. This The hardest thing to do then is to create an ad that people want to share. And in my opinion, this is the most important thing because if you can get people to share your ad for free, then it's not gonna cost you any money to essentially gain those extra impressions. The average Facebook user, you can Google this, um, has two to 300 friends. Every time they share it, that's potentially how many people you're gonna reach for free. And if you base, I mean, there is no such thing as an average CPM, but if you say it's about 20 pounds um, or $20 CPM, if you can get 10 people to share it, then you're gonna reach two to 3,000 people, which is gonna save you anywhere between kind of like 40 to $60. So that really is the power then of creating an ad that has viral capabilities that people essentially want to engage with and share with their friends. And then the keys to a successful ad then. So there's the emotional aspect. This strikes an emotion within the viewer. So when they see your ad, they feel some kind of emotion. And this is what leads people on to essentially want to share it with their friends. When people feel something that either like gives them joy or something, people will always tag their friends in it. If you think, if you think about any viral post, then it's usually something that has an emotion on the viewer. So it could be joy or shock, or it could literally be anything. And this leads them to share it then obviously, and then that leads to viral potential. That should always be your goal. If you can get your ad to go viral, then you can switch off all your ads and simply by people sharing it, like a domino effect will be enough to just push it around the internet without having to pay for it. And number two then, which is the easiest thing to do is to create a need um, and actually solve a problem. And this leads your viewer to actually buy the product. So this is what will convince your customer to buy it 
but then the second thing in my opinion the most important thing is the emotional aspect which leads people to share it because the more you can increase your reach the more people are going to see your ad and obviously the more chance you have of making even more sales but going back to the need aspect then it solves the problem this leads the viewer to actually buy it and to do that then you actually have to demonstrate your product so you have to demonstrate it in a way that strikes an emotion within your customer um, and that is the key as it says here to combine these two triggers they are the two main ingredients into a successful ad if you think about any kind of car ad or trainer ad um, then it's not just a slideshow or a camera going around the car or a trainer it's usually somebody running around and tracking them showing like essentially what they can do and it's usually cars driving on the road or cars parking themselves because there's no better way to create a need than actually show somebody what the products can do for them so anyway all that being said enough talking is done let's actually have a look at some examples so the first um, thing I want to show you is because I, everybody should do this who's running Facebook ads is that Go around on your Facebook page, create a new profile if you want to, and just go around liking all these different e-commerce websites, all these different dropshipping businesses, because what you'll find is that your newsfeed then becomes packed full of products like this. So this is people dropshipping, and um, this was a product actually that featured in one of my product idea videos. And if you wanna do, if you see one that you like that has really good engagement, etc., click on these three dots and just click save video. It will save it to your collections, and then that way, if you ever need some inspiration or you want to compare some ads then it will put it in this list here so i'll just open this link to show you i mean as you can see i've got all these different ads that i can then look back um, for inspiration and just for comparison reasons so just to take this ad as an example then because i think it's a really good ad um, it's got a decent amount of engagement nothing really that crazy at the moment but you can see clearly then especially that image there in fact if we can rewind it it creates a need for the product by demonstrating it. It shows exactly what it does. So they've got a dog that's laid in the shade um, because it's warm, it's sunny, it's sunny, and it solves a problem. So it creates a need for the products that makes people want to actually buy it, which is a good thing because that's the key ingredient number one. It makes people want to buy it, therefore people are going to buy it. But the second thing, the most important thing then in my opinion, is to actually get people want to share it because they can increase their reach um, which will lower their CPMs and when it comes to Facebook ads getting more and more expensive they're only going to continue to do so unless so unless you can get some help by creating that emotion within your audience for people to share it then that's ultimately what's going to lead to long-term success in my opinion and I think they do a pretty good job with it the fact they've got loads of different dogs um, when people see dogs then it does just create that, it's, it's been proven in fact that just by stroking a dog releases endorphins in your mind and actually makes you feel better and less stressed, which is actually why the pet niches are some of the best niches um, when it comes to e-commerce because they're so easy to advertise. Everybody who sees a dog being stupid, it just makes them smile. And regardless of whether they're interested in the product, if a animal is doing something stupid, then they want to share it with their friends. If you think about some of the most popular videos ever to hit the internet, um, going back now, like um, Keyboard Cat or whatever it was called, um, the fact, the reason that got so popular is because it's a cat playing the keyboard and it had that emotion, it made people laugh, which meant people wanted to share it with their friends because people want to make their friends laugh as well. With all that being said, then hopefully kind of coming around to the way I'm thinking, um, let's have a look at a couple more. Uh, the Dusty Dune, that's quite a popular one. The one, to, the one I wanted to show you them were the indestructible shoes. So it's these ones here. Now the reason this one is so good in my opinion is because it creates a need for them because it shows exactly what they do and what they can do for someone. But they also play on that emotional aspect too. Like People watching this would be in shock and shock is a really strong emotion. If you Google the strongest emotions someone can feel, then shock is one of them. People can die from shock that's how much of a powerful emotion actually is and all the things that demonstrating the shoes do so it's kind of combining the two ingredients um, is quite shocking like they'll protect your toes from heavy things they're anti-slip you can like stamp on nails and it's not going to penetrate them which is like a shocking thing so ads like this that combine those two key aspects um, are just are always going to do well in my opinion um, so let's have a look at one more thing then that's not nothing really that interesting about this now this is a really good ad purely because it solves a really kind of important problem or a really difficult problem that people genuinely have the only thing I would say it was lacking was that emotional aspect I guess there's kind of like that sense of shock that 
it works so well and it can make moving furniture etc so easy however whenever it comes to furniture i don't think furniture is a very passionable niche um, and therefore in terms of getting that organic reach and the viral capabilities and i think they're going to struggle i don't want you to think then and come away from this video thinking unless I make someone laugh, then I'm not gonna do very well with Facebook ads, because that's not the case. You can do very well, as long as you create that need for people to buy your product, then you can do well. But what I'm saying is that if you want to maximize and take advantage of the fact that we're advertising on a social media platform, then by encompassing that second key ingredient, which is making people feel some sort of emotion with your ad, then I think you're gonna get even better results. So they're kind of like the takeaways from the video then. Number one, make sure you create a need and a want for your product, because unless there is that need or want for it people aren't going to buy it and number two then if you can try and strike some sort of emotion within your customer whether it's shock or enjoyment whatever it is because that's what's going to lead them to engaging with it and sharing it um, and the more you can get people to do that the more people you're going to reach and then the more chance you have of making even more sales and with that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up if you're still watching then thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the video if you did all i ask then is that you simply leave a like and if you want to be entered into the raffle then for a chance to win the call with me all you have to do is simply leave a comment down below as well and with that being said then let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video who are then guys on the previous video um if you haven't checked this one out yeah make sure you go and watch it people seem to be enjoying it um we look at three drop shipping stores so they are actually drop shipping themselves and each have done over seven figures and we just look at the kind of things we can learn from them so uh what facebook ads they're running what products they're selling what their stores look like etc so if you haven't seen it yet make sure you go check it out but anyway i'm just going to take the url head over to our random comment picker so these competitions are 100 random um i have no say whatsoever in who the winner is so please don't ask me to pick you um, and the winner then of the previous video is emil van der Berg. Apologies if I couldn't match your name very right, but thank you very much then for commenting on my video. Make sure you reach out on Instagram then and we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just want to get straight down to business, you don't want to keep trying your luck every single video, then you can actually just book a call right away. And if you want to do so, then just make sure you check out the link in the video description below. And with that being said, then guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.